Yep, as you can see, it is absolutely mill pond. And we're heading out tomorrow. episode I'm just going to voice over these couple clips of diving so in this one I was actually looking for a mangrove jack and he was on the other side of this pinnacle but he obviously took off um, out deeper this is only about three meters deep and as I was about to um, just go back to the surface I seen a trout come out from behind the bommie so I decided to shoot him but as you'll see here, the spear actually rips out. So, the next thing I did, Ruben came over, I got Ruben's gun and had a quick dive around. Dive straight down and he was sitting right there under the bommie just next to it. So, so we put a shot in and uh, he didn't get away, wasn't wounded. And we put another fish in the boat. After that, we realised why that first trout got off. So my gun's actually bent, and you'll see in this clip right here, I completely missed this fish. And yeah, not happy about it. But um, yeah, worked out the barrel of my gun's actually bent. So once we fix that, it's all good. This is uh, also a little cave that Ruben found. We were looking for um, crayfish. Ruben seen a big trout in there, so I actually went down. To have a look, seeing what I thought was uh, a mangrove jack, but it just turned out to be um, another species of fish. But before I could see what it was, it must be a stuck inside the cave. So I spent like oh, five minutes trying to get the spear out. Speed this video up. Room had no idea what was going on. Um, then finally got it out and the fish was a Moses perch right there on the table. And not too long after Ruben shot this uh, small black tusk fish, went down and grabbed it for him because it was almost about to rip off. And um, yeah, these are great tasting. So we, I'm pretty sure we ate that one uh, back at camp. Good job. We decided to get out and have something to eat and flick some lures while we're sitting in the boat. Dad caught two of these flowery cod, I think they are. And then we went, jump back in the water again after a bit. And I'll show you the highlights of that now.
Once we got out of the water from diving, I actually hooked this decent sized Spanish mackerel. And then we went to try and get some nanny guy the next day. So. Probably from my lure.